Hey, what is up guys? Bruce Lear back at you again with yet another toy review. This time we have the DC Multiverse Lobo. The main man Lobo from DC Rebirth. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Mercari because they were able to help me cop this figure early. I got this one and I just got the Lex Luthor today, so expect that review dropping soon. And yeah, guys, it's your standard DC Multiverse packaging. It says Lobos DC Multiverse on the top right here. And it just says Lobo on the back. Got a nice shot of Lobo. It's pretty sweet right there at the bottom. We got the White Knight Batman, Unmasked Shriek, Todd McFarlane style Wonder Woman, King Shazam, and Dr. Fate from Injustice 2. So that's about it, guys. So we're just going to... Go ahead, pop this guy open, see what he's all about. And first things first, guys, we're going to go ahead and look at his accessories. So we do have the baseball card right over here. Here is the back. And standard base says DC on it. I've seen this a million times. And of course, we have his hook chain thingy. I don't know. He predominantly uses this to capture guys and bring him back for his bounty so yeah pretty cool accessories and here we go we have the main man himself lobo first off i gotta say sculpt detail everything about this it's pretty on point for the most part i have a few nitpicks here and there but overall this is still a pretty darn cool figure man not gonna lie i really do like this figure we're just going to go ahead and take a closer look at him. Look at that head sculpt, y'all. Look at that. The teeth and everything. You can see every detail. The nose. Oh, man. McFarlane killed it with his head sculpt and the hair. The blue that's in the hair. I love the blue highlights. That is really, really cool. The jacket and everything is pretty good for the most part. Now, I do have a few nitpicks. I really wish that these uh, these spikes right here were painted on. I don't know why. I do like the back, though. The back is sculpted on. It's actually sculpted and painted on. See that? It says, bite me, fanboy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a dig at us, but yeah. That's still pretty cool. Undershirt, very cool. Has nice texture and detail on it. Another thing, like I said... I really wish at this part, and also I do have a like little scuffage right here. I don't. That's a piece of plastic, so eh, that kind of stinks. But it is what it is. I do wish that the these knuckles right here and this silver piece right here. Well, it's supposed to be silver. I wish that was painted on. So yeah, I like the fact that we have the skull right here and the star. I wish that was painted on red. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna be nitpicking right here. We do have the boots. Now, the boots are probably my biggest complaint. They're supposed to have red stars right here, like how he does in the comics. And the back is not even painted on. If they would have just painted this like a matte black, I think I would have been okay with it. But, yeah. So, there is kind of a lot of comic inaccuracies. I If McFarlane was trying to go for an originally sculpted Lobo, like, that's not comic accurate, then he nailed it. Because I could see this being just an original look for Lobo, period. But if he was trying to go for a comic accurate Lobo, it's hit and miss. At least for me, personally. It's kind of a hit and miss type of deal. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and go over his articulation. Uh... Yeah, the head sculpt won't go up. That's fine, you know, with, especially with long-haired characters. The plastic won't allow that. That's okay. Head sculpt goes down. He does have... Okay, the torso goes forward like that. does not go backwards. It only has upper torso swivel, which technically counts as waist swivel. So kind of, but not kind of. No waist swivel, so yeah. And his arms go 360 degrees. He has a bicep swivel, of course. He has double jointed elbows. Very, very cool. Forearm articulation. Well, not forearm, sorry. Uh, wrist reticulation. So it goes. Oh, man. Mine is stiff. So. Yeah, I don't want to 
Okay, I don't want to move that any further. I don't want to break it. <laughs> but I'm sure it can go up and down. I just you gotta pl you gotta wait around and probably apply some either some hot water or maybe use the blow dryer uh, trick. So yeah, and as legs move outward, they move forward. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed and knees. I really like that. I really like how the spikes also stick out. That's pretty cool. And feet move up. They kind of move down a little bit. Yeah, if you're... Okay, yeah, so that's kind of stiff. So if you're going to go have it go down further, be careful because something tells me that that ball joint on the inside, that thing's going to snap. So please be careful with that. And he does have a little bit of ankle pivot. I don't know, maybe... So, yeah, he has a little bit of ankle pivot. So, first things first, I wanted to compare him to the Mattel DC Multiverse uh, Lobo. This was the Build-A-Figure from one of their last few waves. That wave was amazing. It had Kingdom Come Superman. It had uh, Wallace West, the uh, Kid Flash. It had Kyle Rayner, old school Kyle Rayner from, uh, I think, like the late 90s, early 2000s as Green Lantern. And, of course, it had Batman Beyond. That whole wave was sick. I love that wave. This figure holds a very special place in my heart. It really does. You know, br brings back a lot of good memories. But again, I really wish you see the, the red stars and everything right here. Lobo is supposed to have these. Even in the from what I've seen in the Justice League of America comics where he joins the Justice League, he's supposed to have these red stars. Now, the crotch piece, okay. You know, that I think is pretty much comic accurate, but it's like you couldn't even Mattel painted on, you know, the, the spike silver. And also they didn't give him this pendant right here. He's supposed to have this. So, yeah. And even the back of the figure, it sculpted a matte black, which which is fine because it makes it look like a boot. It makes it look like it fits in with the rest of the of this boot piece right here. They didn't do that. They just sculpted it like a pant. You know, they just not sculpted, painted it over with the pants. So it's like, why, dude? You couldn't have just painted it black to make it look like a boot, you know? Just, I don't know. That's a minor nitpick that I have with this new Lobo right here. I still really like this new Lobo. I'm not willing to say it's my new favorite Lobo. I'm still kind of more keen on this one. This one... Also, this one has better, a little bit better of articulation, if I'm being honest with you. Even though I do like the head sculpt on this one a little bit better than this one. Yeah. But other than that, it's still a pretty solid Lobo figure, so yeah. And here's Lobo to next to the DC Rebirth Superman. Very cool, okay. Lobo's supposed to be a bit taller than Superman, so... This definitely works out. It fits. And here he is sitting next to the Action Comics 1000 Superman. Yeah. Okay, you could kind of squeeze both of these guys in, you know. I, I see this working. And here he is standing next to the DC Essential Superman. Eh, okay. I don't know. I kind of like the way how the McFarlane ones are scaled a little bit better, but... This could work out. I think you could fake it somehow. If you have a DC Essential Superman... And if that's like your only Superman, I could see you kind of faking this. You know, this is pretty cool. Another quick thing to mention is you can, if you have the chain, this that came with the Mattel Lobo figure. Again, Mattel hooked us up back in the day. You know, they hooked us up with this sweet chain. You can actually like wrap it around his arm and everything to make it look like he's you know, about to go get somebody. So yeah, there you go. I don't know, you could chain it and basically, you can pose it whatever way you want to. It's really, really cool. I still really do like this other chain accessory that we got right here. Uh, This piece right here, I still really do like this. This is pretty cool. Basically, you can just squeeze it uh, through his hand. Be careful though, it is a bit tricky. So yeah, you can squeeze it through. Boom. Yeah. So I kind of like this. This is pretty simple. I do prefer this, if I'm being totally honest with you. But I like this one. This is pretty cool, too. 
And one more thing, if you have the Marvel Legends Space Ghost Rider, this is what I use for my Mattel Lobo. This is his Space Hog. Yeah, the Lobo from the new Lobo will... I mean, he'll fit, but he's, like, top-heavy, and plus the hands don't even reach the handles very well. It makes it look kind of goofy. It makes it look, I guess, like a really, like a, like an older gentleman or something like that is trying to get on, like, a kid's bike. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he's way too top-heavy, so that won't work, sadly. But, of course, the Mattel one fits on just fine. Oh, yeah. So overall, guys, this is still a pretty cool Lobo figure right here. You know, even though I have a few nitpicks here and there, the articulation is not as good as I thought it was going to be. I still think this is a pretty solid Lobo figure, especially if you guys skipped out on the Mattel Lobo figure, then yeah, for sure, go ahead and get this one, especially since the Mattel figure was a Build-A-Figure and you got to get four figures. And those figures are expensive enough as it is on the aftermarket, I'm sure. But I definitely re recommend this as a pickup. You know, if you guys don't care, if you guys just want a Lobo figure, pick it up. You know, at the end of the day, if you can find this out in the wild, if you can see it at a toy hunt or whatever, and if you see it for yourself and you think, okay, you know what? I'm invested. I'm sold. This will be my new Lobo figure. By all means, man, get it. Go grab it. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. You know, solid piece, solid figure, don't sleep on it. And remember, guys, grow older, grow wiser, get right, grow closer to God, never be afraid to be who you are, never stop being a geek. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Expect that Lex Luthor review to be dropping soon. And uh, yeah, this is Bruce Lear, guys, signing out. Peace, mean man.